every family is touched in some way by diseases like Parkinson's disease or juvenile diabetes or other types of diseases where there are thousands of patients out there who believe that stem cell research is their greatest hope. My father um, was, was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis in 1980. Yeah. And at that time, it was difficult even to diagnose. Um, loss of coordination, great deal of difficulty walking, um, breathing problems, and you know now he, he doesn't have the ability to eat. He's you know incontinent. He recognizes us, but you know he's not able to really know where we are. You know you can't you can't really have a conversation with him anymore. You know I don't think he can make it much longer, and it's it's been very difficult because there's been nothing that. Um, has really been available to offer him. Stem cells essentially offer the promise that, you know, possible um, remyelination in MS, possible regeneration of islet cells for diabetes. In Parkinson's disease, you see loss of the dopaminergic neurons, possible replacement of those. So it's really hard not to be excited about about possible stem cell therapies when you see the number of diseases that could potentially be affected by that, that, that really don't have optimal treatments right now. And what everybody in the business of medical research is doing every day is just desperately hoping that something that they do will, will save lives, improve lives, or end suffering.